on showing you how to do a pressure sit, okay? So a lot of dogs know how to sit. They know how to sit for a treat. We've taught them what from puppies to fall on their nose to the bum drops. But a pressure sit is really important to show a dog, not just to ask them to sit, not just because you have a treat or you've got a reward for them. We want them to sit because we ask them to. So in a pressure sit, pressure sit uses a type of training called negative reinforcement, okay? We apply a pressure and then we remove that pressure as a reward. So today during pressure sit, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up on the collar through using the leash to create a little bit of pressure under the chin. The dog is then going to, when the dog sits, that's when we're gonna release the pressure as the dog's reward. One of the great areas, for example, to be able to use this in training or when you're out on a walk, a lot of the time I see owners struggling saying to their dog, sit, sit sit, sit, or maybe the dog is lunging or pulling towards another dog, and they're trying everything they can do to try to get the dog's attention. We're waving treats in front of the dog's face. You're doing a very good job. Yes, you are paying attention. And trying to get the dog's attention, but maybe the dog doesn't want the treat. Maybe the dog wants something else that's more important or a higher value than the treat, something that's more exciting. So a pressure seat is great in those circumstances to say, hey, I shouldn't have to bribe you to get you to do what I want. I'm going to ask you and I'm going to create a pressure and you can decide yourself when you want that pressure to turn off. When you do the correct behavior, the pressure releases, and then I can also give an additional reward after that. But I will not bring out a bribe just to get my dog to do what I want. Okay, buddy, are you ready? We have to demonstrate this. Let's go. To start this, make sure your dog is standing. Then we're going to pull up on the lead, on the collar. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. As soon as he feels that pressure, he thinks, okay, what's going on here? How do I make this stop? You can tell he kind of looked up a little bit at the leash, and then he decided to take a step back, and he sat. The moment that his bum touches the ground, you release that leash pressure, okay? It's very important that he knows how to turn that pressure off and he's re rewarded with the removal of that pressure the moment it happens. I also mark it with the word yes, which he's con been conditioned with in the past to receive a reward or a treat or praise. Good boy. So let's repeat that again. Let's do that. Let's you pull up. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. So Murphy has learned through a bit of conditioning that every time I pull up, I'm going to be asking him to sit. This is also great when we're walking. As soon as I stop, I can just gently pull up and he will sit. If your dog takes a little bit of time, sometimes I've seen had dogs take one or two minutes sitting there with this pressure before they are willing to sit. Maybe they're distracted or they don't really know. I, I try my best not to repeat the command. I should only say sit once and then apply the pressure if the dog does not sit. It's important to remember that we're also not pulling up and down several times, because like I just mentioned, the release of that pressure is the dog's reward. When you release that pressure, you tell the dog that, oh, that's what I wanted you to do, okay? So if I'm sitting there adding pressure and releasing it, it's very confusing. It's a bit of a mixed message to the dog. So if you're going to Increase pressure, never decrease it until the dog does what you want. Even if the dog turns around or spins or tries to lay down, just keep that pressure there until the dog completes the command, which in this case is sit. Try that one more time. Let's go. Yes, good boy, good boy. His first reward is that release of pressure. His second reward is praise and me marking the behavior with the word yes. This teaches your dog to want to work for you due to leadership, not just because you have a reward that he values.